Okay, I had several comments yesterday about this holster I was using for this new pistol. And the reason I was using this one, I just bought this and it actually fits the gun very well. But what it is, it's a German military issue holster. You know, it's of the drop leg type, uh, heavy into the Velcro and the Fastex type bucklers. But actually works very well. But the reason I wasn't bringing this up is, okay, Fleet Farm carries these. They're surplus, but they're brand new. And they're like a $25 holster, you know, and they're a good piece of equipment. But like I say, this one fit this gun very well, so I bought it. But at the time, they weren't actually out for sale. Uh, they hadn't put them on the shelf yet. And they aren't on the website, and I don't know if they'll ever be on the website. So I don't know if they'll be, you know, commonly available unless you go into a fleet farm. You know, so I figured, well, no point in, in telling you about something that you can't buy, you know, unless you have a fleet farm buy you. Or if they should have enough of them that they put them on the website, because it's kind of iffy. You know, if they have a lot of something, it'll, it'll be on the website, but, you know, not always. But that's the deal. German, brand new, never issued, very nice. 25 bucks. And it fits this gun very well. Also fits a 1911. Another thing I didn't mention that I picked up, I think I got three of these. It's a gun cleaning kit. SIG. It's Swiss. But it fits 30 to 50 caliber. Then these are, you know, 995. But there again, these weren't out. Very nice, you know, solid steel, heavy brass. You know, very good gun cleaning kit, but you know, if you can't get them, I can't help you. Pretty nice kit in that they even have a small mirror for checking in the chamber, you know, to get back in there. A very nice, heavy set, a uh, nice handle. Actually, very good set. That's why I bought three of them. Because I'm really tired of the flimsy brass ones. But they've got, or even worse, the aluminum. But they've got the brushes. The only thing that still puzzles me is, is this. I actually think it might be for cleaning the chamber. Or if you put a patch in. Because it screws on the handle. But it's got a split here. So it's a bit of a mystery to me. But, you know, it's a nice heavy setup. So, but like I say... Unless they should have enough of them that they go on the website. Unless you have a fleet farm, you ain't going to be able to find them. But it's nice. And another thing is the thing that I am wearing. So I will go take the camera and show you. This Russian... Cavalry cloak, cloak slash shelter, because uh, it's actually got grommets all the way around for tying it down. <laughs> it's actually quite a piece of gear. You know, there's no sleeves. I have to put this up. You know, have to pull it real tight. You have to put the husband in there. But again, you know, these are like ten bucks. But I don't know if they'll ever hit the website. Yo, know, but they're nice if you have access to them. You know, they got a, a hood on them. And they're old, you know, like from the 70s, but they are brand new. I mean, they've never been issued. They still have all the tags on them. But, you know, there's, there's times where when I find stuff, it, you know, like I did... The gun I showed you because those are available from quite a few different outlets. You know, they're new production, so you can buy them. But a lot of that military surplus stuff, 
you know, unless you have a fleet farm or it gets on the website. You know, and I've thought before about, you know, like those cleaning kits, well, I could buy a dozen of them and then I could resell them, but I don't want to go into business or resell it. So I'd be selling them at the cost and, you know, is it worth the hassle? I don't know, you know, and shipping and, and all that. So, so if you don't have a fleet farm, a lot of this stuff is just kind of irrelevant to you.